Okay, we are going to begin our tour of Freedom of the Seas on Deck 3 forward. Deck 2 are staterooms. Deck 1 is medical and the gangway for ports. So we're going to start this on Deck 3 and just show you where we are right now. We're forward and really the only thing in this forward area is the theater and some staterooms. You cannot get to the back through here, so I'll show you real quick the main floor of the theater, which is on decks three and four, and then we will cut over and get to the aft of the ship. And so we are at the front of the ship, and the theater is closed right now. Because we're in port, we're in Nassau, uh, just this is your typical royal theater. They have reserved seating up in the this little area here for Diamond Plus, Pinnacle, and Suite. And it's your typical royal theater. You can access the second level from in here or back up on deck. Four. And there is a bar over there, and there should be one upstairs as well. So that's the Royal Theater, Deck 3. Let's head to the back of the ship, where we will see the dining room and the, theater, and the focus photo gallery and the studio be ice skating. All right, so we are at the back of the ship on Deck 3. I already showed you a view of the grand, excuse me, grand dining room. And here we are on deck three. We're in port, so it'll be open for dinner tonight. But once again, there is the chef's table is held up there. But look at this. The ship was built in 2006 with the elegance of a grand. All right, so leaving the dining room. I'll show you where we're at here. Back of the ship, deck three. And we continue a little bit more forward. And you have the art gallery. Then, hey. Hey. Then you go through here into Studio B. But before Studio B, you have the Focus Photo Gallery. And no longer the prints. You just order them. You can actually order them any time of the day and then pick them up. So I need to order my print or my digital. This time I'm going to order a digital. And it might end up being the thumbnail for this video full tour of Freedom of the Seas. So I'm going to do that and I will be back. All right, I'm going to show you how to do it. So take your card and make sure the green light is on because if it's not, it won't work. Swipe your card. Okay, maybe the other way. There we go. Now we're in business. As many times as I've done this, it's still a mystery. I've read and agreed to the terms. Okay, here's the two. And that's going to be it right there. You know what? I'm going to do buy digital. First time ever. I'm going to add to the cart. Download on board only. I'll download on board only. Uh, I don't need a 8x10. I get the one free photo. Check out. We're going to apply a coupon. I get a one free photo. We're going to do digital this time. So you sign it. You confirm that you've read whatever. And you hit confirm. And that's it. That's how you order your photo. And continuing past the photo gallery is Studio B. 
it is the multi-use and they do have laser tag actually probably going on right now but it's a multi-use venue they have the ice skating shows they have open ice skating they do laser tag they do club red here they do the quest here or the cra crazy quest as they call it now so we'll just take a gander in here and they are doing oh they are doing laser tag right now oh my let's see what it looks like this is cool all right let's make my make my way around here just to show you what it looks like so there is the laser tag chamber on freedom of the seas here in studio b okay so that was the laser tag and just for your information laser tag is complimentary you just have to make a reservation same thing with ice skating it's complimentary and if you don't have a reservation you can be there as a standby but reservations are strongly suggested so not everything costs money so that was studio b and that concludes deck three on freedom of the seas okay here we are on deck four now and near the front of the ship we have the izumi hibachi and sushi you got the signature schooner bar nautical themed bar on all royal caribbean ships Got the new drink menu, of course, here on Freedom and the rest of them. Inspired by the testing of the new drinks on Icon of the Seas. You can get a toasted marshmallow old-fashioned here. And then you have the casino through there on deck four going to the back of the ship. And as you go through the casino, now we have Playmakers, Sports Bar, and Arcade. Added during the amplification in 2020. Great burgers, wings onion rings you can get wings from room service just as good a lot cheaper so that is playmakers sports bar and arcade and then the rest of going forward will be the boleros and starbucks and the dining room so that is your deck four on freedom of the seas all right on deck five on freedom of the seas forward you have the star lounge on most of the, if not all, Voyager and Freedom class ships. It is a multi-use lounge. It's also the meeting place for consecutive cruisers at nine o'clock in the morning. So to the right, you have your library and card room. And a quick peek in here, if you want a quiet place, this is where it would be. Nice and quiet. They do have some computers available for complimentary internet, but only Royal Caribbean website to book cruises. <laughs> or you could use your Voom package and use those computers. And here is the Star Lounge. They do karaoke, they have music, they have dancing, they have art auctions. You name it. They have it here in the Star Lounge. And since it's not quite seven o'clock in the morning, you notice there's not a lot of people and it's not very noisy, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and move forward on deck five. We'll just keep it rolling. Okay, so the first thing we come up to here is Sorrento's Pizza. And it's good pizza on this ship. About as good as it gets. Um, so they do have an adjacent area here where they used to serve antipastas and things, but not anymore. But it would be very nice. It says they have beer, wine, and soft drinks, but I don't recall them having uh, beer, wine, and soft drinks here. Maybe that's just the sign. You got your freestyle Coke machine. You got your Invicta watch store. 
the decor is very nice. Sorrento's since 1954. Hmm, okay. The Bull and the Bear. One of the signature pubs on every Royal Caribbean ship. They all have different names, but they do have a live entertainer nightly. Special selection of craft beers you can't get anywhere else on the ship, including the including the flip top Grolsch. Another shop. Your little secret entrance down to the casino. So you notice the pub has seating out into part of the Royal Promenade. But they have draft beer and other beers. And your logo store. Here is your vintages wine bar and wine and tapas bar. There is a charge for the tapas. And your car, your obligatory car. I think it is a Morgan, Morgan car. Actually, yes, it is. Another shop. Here's where you can get your liquor, cigarettes. They have the dancing in the streets party on this ship, so the signs are up. And as we continue further back to the back, of course, Ben and Jerry's, there is the Ben and Jerry's suite. And rumor has it, it is going away. It's going away because Ben and Jerry's is going away. So they're gonna remove the cows. Here's where you can get your sugar-free Red Bull, your specialty coffees. This is the Cafe Promenade. And you can see your refreshment package is good for all of these drinks here. Yes. And of course you have short excursions, desk, another shop. And then over here, your breakfast items. Ham, wow, they have egg back in the ham, egg and cheese sandwich. Unbelievable. You never know what you're gonna get. Ham, egg and cheese. All right. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. They're just going to have dessert cups over there. Yes, they're over here. They have them. They're hidden. And there's your complimentary coffee station. And so I'm really shocked to see egg back in the ham, egg, and cheese sandwich. Because the ship's have been removing the egg. No more egg, but here they do have egg. Very nice. And their muffins and your muesli and all your other stuff. So that is the Cafe Promenade. And this is similar to Independence. You get a, a bird's eye view down into the Playmakers, which we will see on our Deck 4, or you probably already saw on your Deck 4 video. Shore Excursions Desk. You can book the shore excursions on the app. You can do it on here on the kiosks. Here is the market. Looks like you got beach wear, beach attire. Sunglasses, a variety of clothing items. In case you need it, here is where they will book your next cruise for $200 deposit. You have within 60 days to choose a sailing if you do not do not know what you're going to choose and you can get, take advantage of the onboard credit next cruise onboard booking bonus within 60 days you convert it to a regular sailing you can just pay the 200 dollars and say i'll decide later and you can do that on the app in like two seconds you don't even have to come here and i do that every cruise here is your r bar on Liberty, it doesn't have a name, but it is the R bar. Also a champagne bar. Okay, and here is guest services on deck five. Freedom of the Seas was the first ship in the Freedom class, and it featured the expanded Royal Promenade, much bigger than the Voyager class. So after the Independence was built, the Freedom of the Seas was built, and 
this wowed everyone. This was one of a kind. The first ship with a flow rider, a lar much larger promenade, the colored bridge here, but just it wowed people when it was built. And you can see deck four below us. And then concluding our deck five tour, the main dining room. It is still the grand dining room style. And as you can see on our little map here, it is on decks three, four, and five. So let me show you a little glimpse of the deck five dining room. Let's open this door and go in here. Look how beautiful. It's a beautiful dining room. Look at that. It's still classic, beautiful dining room. I don't see a captain's table. They do the chef's table over there. You see it? That's where they do the chef's table. And on deck four, they have a, a baby grand piano. But that is your dining room. They can accommodate some tables that are about 10 or 11, maybe 12. But lots of the ones are eight, eight tops. Off to the sides, there are six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They got ten over there. They might have a larger table over there. So up to 12, 11, pretty much the max, but I guess you could squeeze in 12. So that is your main dining room, and that concludes your deck five portion of the tour on Freedom of the Seas. It was a beautiful look at the Royal Promenade, looking from deck six towards the back. It's a beautiful ship. And so continuing on our tour of deck 11 on course freedom of the seas and the back of the ship is the wind jammer I have a separate wind jammer tour but suffice it to say that is the wind jammer and deck 11 is the main pool deck and on freedom of the seas they actually have an el loco fresh Over here on the left, it's not open right now because we are at Coco Cay. And they have a bar as well. And the lines are always very long here. <coughs> People getting their tacos and all that. And here's your, your bar. And here is your toppings area. So it is Splash Away Bay for the kids. And uh, here is where you're, you can get your child size life vests for use on board. Don't take them off the ship. Some of the upgraded decor it's part of the amplification and then your main pool area notice it feels more spacious and wide in this corridor this is the smoking section and here is the main pool area and of course the lower level of your lime and coconut bar done part of the amplification as you can see and continuing further back on the other side is the ice cream place sprinkles back over there we work our way back to the solarium getting past the smoke 
We see guests 18 and older. Welcome. Here is the location of the two cantilevered hot tubs, one on each side of the ship. Interesting fact, the Wonder of the Seas only has one. It offsets counterbalance of the flow rider. They're sort of on opposite corners. So no day beds and things like you would see on some of the other ships like Mariner, but the main pool area on the solarium. And then further into the front of the ship is the fitness center. Which I showed you the fitness center. Actually, you may be seeing it next, depending on where I put it in the video. Voila, we are back where we started the fitness center. So that is deck 11. Okay, continuing our deck tour of deck 11 on Freedom of the Seas. In the front of the ship, you have the Vitality Fitness Center. And again, this ship was amplified and finished in early 2020. And it has a newer, much newer look than ships like the Independence of the Seas. So as you first walk in, you see it's a little more modern looking than Independence. They do have fitness classes. Here on the left are your restrooms. And we'll take a look at those in a minute. But it is early right now and I'm usually working out, but wanted to do this quick video and the setup is is very nice lots of cardio machines in the center you got some weights here some dumbbells and some cambered bars those are nice they got a smith machine and a couple of multi-use stations All right, I'm looking forward to getting back in here and Again, more cardio. It is 6.45 a.m. and the sun is coming up in about probably 15 minutes or so. And over towards the right are various machines. So that is the weight area. And then over here are some I guess consultation areas. All right, let's go check out what the amenities are in the locker room. Okay, so I was a little surprised at this. There is no locker room. This is the lockers here <laughs> and towels. And I just assumed that these were going back into showers and things. Well, this is basically a restroom and this is a shower. So I'll show you. Voila. It's a big shower. And then this is just basically a restroom. So a little bit different than the other Freedom and Voyager class ships, but nonetheless, the gym looks quite ample. And there's even some artwork. So that is your Vitality Fitness Center on Deck 11 on Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas. Okay, how about Deck 12 on Freedom of the Seas? Well, we are at the front of the ship. We are over here, and so we have basically the spa here at the front of the ship, but these are all those new staterooms that you can see my video on. These were previously part of the spa and they have balconies and ocean views. And man, these are great rooms. They're newer than the rest of the ones on the ship. They're bigger and very nice. I highly recommend them. So here is your Vitality Spa. 
to book your spa appointments. All right, so that is the Vitality Spa, and she oh, can give you your massage as well. How may I help today? Oh, we're just showing everyone what to do on deck 12. Okay. All right, so let's just keep on moving from forward to back. Lots of things on deck 12 to show you. All right, so on deck 12 on Freedom of the Seas, it has been amplified, uh, finished in 2020. And I'm just trying to get a glimpse of what ship is next to us here in port. And... Enchantment? I can't see from here. No, what is it? Anyway, forget it. All right, so continuing out, going from forward to back on deck 12, uh, there's some amplifications here. This was amplified in late 2019, finished in early 2020, and they have the same amplification that you will see on other newer ships like Odyssey of the Seas. They have the Casitas, and they have these on Navigator, they have them on Odyssey. So those have a charge. And here is the upgraded, used to be the Sky Bar, now it's the Lime and Coconut. Featuring the signature drinks, the lime and the coconut. So there's a bird's eye view of deck 12. They have several casitas. And they charge for those. Could be anywhere from $200 a day and up, depending on if it's a sea day. So we will keep moving forward. You'll see deck 11 uh, on my other portion of this video. But they have these little beds, they're free. And the casitas. So we're gonna make our way back and show you more on deck 12. So one thing I wanted to show you here on deck 12 on the port side, unlike other ships in the same class like Independence of the Seas, deck 12, you cannot go on either side to the back of the ship. So it's blocked off here. So you'd have to be on the starboard side to check out the other features on deck 12. There's a view of Splash Away Bay. We're in Coco Cay today and it's a little chilly actually. A little chilly. It's in the mid 70s. There is a breeze. I don't know, it doesn't make sense that 70s is chilly, but hey. All right, so on this side of the ship, which is the starboard side, or the right side on deck 12, as we are here at Perfect Day Coco Cay, looks like the Vision of the Seas docked next to us. Back here is your Johnny Rockets at the same location. It is on Mariner and Independence. So here is your Johnny Rockets on deck 12. And it will be open today at two o'clock. Okay, making our way further back here on to deck 12. I feel the heat coming out of Johnny Rockets feels pretty good. We have the social club it's for teens. This is a little area for the teens, the social area. They made a nice little spot for them. The flow rider is up here on deck 13. I hear it running. Looks like they have lesson going on right now, or maybe just for the staff. The staff is teaching new staff, I guess. So that is 
And the back of the ship here, you can see we are at perfect day at Coco Cay. And nothing else to see in the back, but let's make our way around to the other side and see what we couldn't get to on the port side. So you notice there's lots of loungers all the way back here. And it looks like it just basically ends. So the way they built this out, different from Independence. So I'm not sure why they have it different, but on Independence, you can walk straight on through here. It's blocked off. So that is your deck 12 on Freedom of the Seas. All right, so we're going to cover deck 13 from back to front. Of course, in the back is the Flow Rider, and the Freedom of the Seas was the first ship to get a Flow Rider. And it has been revamped, refurbished. And uh, also, what they added here on deck 13 the Perfect Storm water slides. And there's a few little different kind of chairs to hang out at. On uh, other ships like Mariner of the Seas, there's like a little climbing area over here. So that's just a little bit of slight differences from ship to ship. The rock climbing wall on Freedom of the Seas is a little different, and I'll show you. Of course, they have the sport court with the full basketball court. Let me show you the rock climbing wall. It's a little bit different than the others. It has like a separate little column. I'll show you. There's also entrances to the suites lounge and diamond lounge. That was the diamond suites lounge over there. But you see the rock climbing wall. You can climb up this part and climb up this part. You can climb, there's lots of places. I've done it before. It's been a long time, but I have not done it in a long time. So that's the back of the ship. And then to get towards the front, you go through the little hallway here. This is similar to the other ships in the fleet on deck 13. And these doors used to be manual. Now they're sensors and they open automatically it used to be heavy doors it makes it easier to go through now and you can see the direction so this is deck 13 and to go any further forward really there isn't anything on deck 13 until you get to the front of the ship which would be the golf the miniature golf so we'll show you that one of the things I uh, need to show you the interior here on deck 12. We walked past going to the Johnny Rockets and all that, but the inside is where your Adventure Ocean clubs are. So that's all here on deck 12. Really, look at that, really cool. If you go fast, it would be like Space Mountain. That'd be cool. Okay, so there is deck 12. Okay, got to show you the front of the ship, Deck 13, Freedom Dunes. This is the miniature golf. And it is exactly the same as Mariner Dunes and Independence of the Seas. It's the same thing, but we'll show you anyway. Lots of loungers, as you can see. And it uh, looks identical to Mariner, which was Amplified 1.0. So that is your deck 13 in the front of the ship. All right, hope you liked it. Here we are in Coco Cay. Freedom of the Seas, and we are docked next to the oldest ship in the fleet, Grandeur of the Seas. 
grandeur of the seas was built in 1996. Yes, it's been refurbished a couple times. It's small, but mighty. And then the Freedom of the Seas right here, Dr. Coco K, built in 2006. Can you believe it? It's 17 years old. And it's also the last ship in the fleet to be amplified. It was amplified in March of 2020. Right before the pandemic, it came back to service for a few weeks. And um, there you go. Grandeur of the Seas, 1996. 2006, Freedom of the Seas. So that's her from the outside. And I hope you enjoy my ship tour of Freedom of the Seas. Stay tuned for tours just like this on other Royal Caribbean cruise ships near you. All right, we made it up to deck 14. And deck 14 is the location of the Viking Crown Lounge. And it has other names on different ships like on this ship, it's called Olive or Twist. On, what was it? Some ships, it's called the Vortex. I think that was uh, Jewel of the Seas, Vortex. On Mariner, it's called Ellington's. So, but it's the Viking Crown Lounge. And it's a beautiful place to relax during the day. It's quiet. And... They will have various functions up here. Sometimes they'll do a small little DJ with a dance atmosphere. Um, we're in Nassau today, so you can see here we are docked. And so what is on deck 14 besides the Crown Viking Crown Lounge? Well, the Crown Lounge is on deck 14, and the Sweets Lounge is on deck 14. See, olive or twist. The vortex bar on my jewel, this rotates. It's a round circular bar and it rotates. It's really cool. So this was formerly known as the Diamond Lounge. It is still accessible for Diamond. I keep trying to pull Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle. And they have morning continental breakfast. I'm surprised at lunch. They have little snacks here. Usually there's nothing here during the day. Chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Coffee machine. At night, the nightly happy hour from 5 to 8.30. Sometimes it's 4.30 to 8. Depends on the ship. They will have hors d'oeuvres, canopies, and a bar service. But you need to use your drink vouchers. It's no longer unlimited free drinks. But it's a cozy atmosphere. They got overflow seating. Don't know quite the capacity of this place, but I would say 50 at any one time. Look at the views. Beautiful. Obviously, we're in Nassau. And you have a diamond concierge that is here. Their hours are posted. And that is the Crown Lounge. There's one more lounge on this deck. And we're going to go to that now. As you pass over to the port side, it is the Sweet Lounge. Sometimes I call it the Sweets Lounge. This is open for Sweet and Pinnacle Club members suite guests would be concierge suites or grand suites or above you use your card you enter and it's a little more plush than the crown lounge it's quite clean nicely decorated the same amenities you have a suite concierge all the menus are now on QR codes. They used to have hard copies. You don't need that anymore. Same stuff over here. The same cookies, the same sandwiches. So that is the sweet lounge. And that is your deck 14. And 
Of course, it does overflow here. So there you go. There is your deck 14 on Freedom of the Seas. Well, I hope you liked my full ship tour of Freedom of the Seas. It was the first ship in the Freedom class to be built. It was built in 2006. It's also the very last ship to this point of, in Royal Caribbean that has been under that has undergone the amplification, the 2.0 amplification, which added the lime and the coconut, the casitas, the playmakers, moved the golf course to the front, um, several other refurbishments, uh, some of the restaurants. They added the Giovanni's Italian kitchen, used to be Giovanni's table. And those are the main amplifications on Freedom of the Seas. Ship was built in 2006. Anyway, that last amplification took place in March of 2020, and the ship's in great shape. They got a whole new whole exterior paint job. It is the blue, the marine blue color, the light blue, which is more resistant to oxidation and is a special marine coating they're using on all the newer ships. It's kind of like a, I don't know the name of the blue, but it's like a light blue, it's no longer pure white. So I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more because I'm going to try to do every ship in the fleet. And right now I think I have six or seven ships in my playlist on my channel. So you can easily go to any one of them and see all the different videos for each ship just conveniently located in one place. So thanks for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button because it's absolutely free. And it helps me to know that what I'm doing is not a waste of time. And along the way, I like to have fun with my videos. So I will post bloopers at the end of my videos. If I have any bloopers, because who, who makes mistakes these days? I don't know. But there'll probably be a couple of bloopers at the end of this one too. So keep watching. Thanks again. And see you on the next one coming from another Royal Caribbean cruise ship near you.